let's uh, move on. Uh, we're going to talk to Mr. Anuj Mathur today, who's MD and CEO of Canra HSBC Life Insurance Company. Welcome, Mr. Mathur. Thanks for joining uh, uh, joining in on NDTV Profit. Talk to us. It's a pleasure having you on the show. My pleasure too, and thanks for inviting me for this discussion. Yes, definitely. Uh, so now yeah, thanks. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to start off uh, with, of course, uh, what are your expectations on this budget uh, with regards to life insurance sector? What is the industry, what are the troubles that the industry is facing and what, are, what kind of resolutions are you expecting this time? See, currently life insurance industry is doing pretty well. Mm -hmm. If you see the growth which the industry has shown in the last three months, uh, it's upwards of 20%. So we are doing very well. And let me also give you the background. See, life insurance is one sector which gives long-term guarantees, which contributes to the exchequer big time in terms of taxes, which contributes to the infrastructure development of the country. So this is one sector which is providing social security as well as helping the government in terms of infrastructure investment. So what we expect from the industry in return is that the tax structure should be rationalized. And few things will come from the budget and few things will come uh, maybe outside the budget when the GST council is meeting, they're deciding. So specifically in terms of my expectation from the budget this time is that there'll be some relaxation in direct taxes. We have not seen any changes in the limit, uh, which is there for the life insurance in last almost a decade. As far as I remember, nothing has moved. So that is one relaxation. It will definitely help grow the sector. Number two, uh, in terms of taxation of the proceeds, currently annuity uh, is very, very important segment. Uh, I think retirement is definitely a very, very promising uh, segment. And that is where we expect that the annuity should be made tax-free because what you get in annuity is principal and some bit of uh, earnings on that. So that is another expectation which I have that in the form of annuities, uh, it should be tax-free. That will definitely help. And also some relaxation in terms of 1010D. So some changes came in last uh, last last budget. Maybe if some relaxation can be given, that will really help the industry to grow. We are contributing a lot to the exchequer uh, in the infrastructure growth of uh, the country. And we'll be happy to further kind of participate, increase our penetration if these things are there. I think public is really looking for some of these relaxations. And we look forward from the industry for this help coming from the government. Right. Uh, we were. Uh, you just spoke about the taxation structures as well. Uh, in the last budget, there was some uh, tax being uh, uh, now implemented on uh, five lakh and above premium that's paid annually. Are, they, are you expecting specific changes to that? Should that reduce? Uh, what is the expectation? What's the demand there? It's a request actually, uh, because we saw this change last year, mm. and because of which we have seen, particularly people who are looking at long-term savings. And by the way, as I mentioned. Insurance is the only segment, life insurance, which provides long-term guarantees. So if this can be relaxed, that will definitely help because last year we saw that there was some impact because of this. So it's a request uh, that if this can be relaxed a little bit, that will definitely help in terms of savings also. Right. Uh, and in terms of uh, measures that can be taken to boost penetration of life insurance, of course, uh, it's still very low in a country like India. What kind of measures can the government take, uh, maybe in terms of distribution or uh, through maybe, um, uh, yeah, of course, uh, going, going through self-help groups uh, uh, in rural areas or anything else that you would suggest that the government can do here? Right. So first of all, uh, regulator is is actually doing a lot of work in this area in terms of increasing the penetration. There's this Bhima Trinity, uh, which IRDA has taken forward, which is Bhima Sovam, Bhima Vistar, Bhima Vahak. And I'll just take maybe two minutes to explain this. Uh, these are some of the initiatives which are meant to kind of widen the network of insurance. So Bhima Sugam is the IT platform which the regulator is going to provide to all the companies and to the customers and to various stakeholders within insurance to increase the penetration. So that will help increasing the penetration. So rather than just face-to-face -face solicitation, people can actually uh, go digital and buy insurance. So that is something which Bhima Sukham will provide. Similarly, Bhima Vistar is again an initiative where uh, the regulator is trying to kind of allow various kinds of intermediaries to deeply penetrate into the country because tier four, tier three, tier four cities, I think that is where uh, at times the penetration is not that high. So that will help. And Biba Wahab, again, will help in terms of the product uh, which is there being available to masses. And Bima Vistar will actually help in terms of bundling of, of the products. So I think these things will definitely help. 
one more request which I have if we really want to increase the penetration. See, currently the GST is a big hindrance, particularly when it comes to protection. Protection, which is so basic, is uh, the tax applicable tax rate is 18%. So that is where if GST Council can take our request and for pure protection, at least if we can lower the GST rate, that will definitely help in increasing the penetration across the country. So these are few initiatives which, if we can work upon along with the government, will definitely help increasing the penetration in this country, where the penetration is hovering somewhere between three, three and a half percent. Right. Uh, anything specific on the GST front? Currently, uh, of course, uh, that becomes a hindrance, uh, the high rate of GST. But is there something in mind uh, that you have in terms of that? Any specific number? My request will be to kind of reduce the rate uh, mm. because if you look at other commodities uh, which are not even basic needs, uh, they are taxed at the rate of 12% or even lower. So if protection can be at the rate of 5%, I think that will be a big boost for penetration that will definitely help because ultimately who is bearing the burden of this? The burden of this is going to the customers. So if we can actually rationalize the GST rate and it is completely the government's discretion what they think, think is the right rate, uh, any reduction from here will definitely help boosting the penetration in the country. And my request is at least for protection because that is where 18% is being charged, which is very high. Right. Mr. Martha, can you also talk to us about the pricing of these policies? Is it? Do you see that rising from here on? Uh, not really. Um, I think, uh, in fact, right now we are in looking at the new product regulations, seeing how we can absorb the impact of this and not impact the customer. So there are various measures which insurance companies are taking to see that the burden is not uh, passed on to the customer. And I think uh, uh, industry will be reasonable is what I feel. Early days, uh, but I think in next three months, we'll see more clarity. And hopefully, I think the customer should not be bearing the burden of it. Point well taken. Thank you so much, Mr. Mathur, for joining us on the show today and uh, for giving us uh, those answers and the expectations that the life insurance industry has uh, from the government this time, uh, from the budget, of course. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Mathur. Pleasure. I'm looking forward to the budget day. Yeah, yes, definitely. And uh, viewers, thanks for watching, uh, but don't go anywhere. We have lots more lined up for you on NETV Profit. Stay tuned.